Hi, I'm Louis Theroux. Check out my new documentary, My Scientology Movie, on iTunes. Hello? Can I just give you a, a letter? We're doing a documentary about Scientology. Wait, I've got... Scientology was always, for me, the holy grail of stories. Scientology. Scientology. A religion created by a sci-fi writer, run by a mysterious leader, David Miscavige. It's quite an odd film. It's, it's, it's quite a bonkers film in many ways. It's just not like any church that you can think of. How can we try and get an insight into what it's like being a Scientologist? I think that was the key goal we set out with. A difficult one, given it was unlikely any of the church members were going to speak to us. You need to leave. Even if they're saying no, let's go ahead and make a film about them. How you doing, Mr. Squirrel? You guys are trespassing. So then the question was, well, what else can we do that's different? How do we tell a story about Scientology that's different from what's already been done? So we'd heard about this guy, Marty Rathbun. Ask me something that, you, that truly puzzles you. Who had been, as he described it, the number two, the David Miscavige. You've got to have that intensity. Okay, because this is not some minor game. So it became a sort of excavation of Scientology, but also of Marty Rathbun. This went like a bat out of hell, and I went down this road here. It starts to become some sort of odd marriage between Louis Theroux and, and Marty, but I think it gave a very sort of personal insight into what it is like spending that long in the church. That was your mindset? Yeah. For 27 years? Well, for 22 years. First five years, I was pretty laid back. But it's not so much why do people leave. We've heard the stories um, of abuse, right? It's why are they in for 20 years or 30 years? Uh, you paid for all of that. I paid for all of that. And what are they getting out of it? They say it brainwashes people. Do I look like I'm brainwashed to you? Your happiness is a course away. Thank you! You believe so much, they can convince you of anything. It's scary, huh? A little bit. I went into it knowing that um, there was a good chance that the Scientologists would come after us. Okay, we have a permit. Why are you here? I was a little surprised in the manner in which they came after us. It's it's just, it's quite surreal. After four hours of the same car being behind you, it starts to look a bit suspicious. For it to be doctrine that anyone who criticizes you um, deserves to be destroyed, right? Which it is in Scientology. That is really weird and interesting. He's right behind us now. We have their attention. Why are they doing this? Whoa, you're whoa, not whoa, that whoa, whoa, you're assaulting you me. Thing? All this aggressive stuff that they come at you with. It's amazing how your dander uh, gets up. You can't film me. I mean, I'm of the belief that you, you know, you're allowed to make a documentary that's also fun. Scientology. I knew that there would be consequences. There is a sort of freewheeling feel to it. I just, I want our audience to enjoy it. Tell him to stop filming me. Well, you're filming us. Tell him to well, stop. Well, you tell him to stop. Tell him to stop. You tell him to stop and I'll tell him to stop. Thanks, guys.